Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tides of Death. You're in this nice, fancy tavern. This new noble isn't before you. Um, he's already pissed at you. You've insulted his wife. Then you blew him off to go get yourself a cup of coffee. And now you're coming back down. And he's got like a pile of gold on the table and he's drumming his fingers and he's looking at you like he's impatient to like play some cards. Like he always gets mm. everything he wants and he's not used to having to wait for it. And this is a bunch of bullshit. Um, you arrive at the table. Yeah. Um, so I'll sit down. I like reach into my pocket. Sort of like, I'll right, pull out a handful of coins, like look at them and put them on the table and like, so my coin isn't as rich as yours. Um, listen, I'm a, I'm a merchant and uh, I don't have much coin on me. We've just come back from a shipment, but I have a great deal of rare goods and spices from across the sea in Solemn. Perhaps we could, uh, mm, have you ever tasted cinnamon before my friend? I certainly have, and it is a wonderful spice. Are you proposing that you trade your shipment of silver, that you would bet your shipment of sil uh, cinnamon? Cinnamon, yes. Perhaps, if that would be agreeable to you. I do have some other goods, but I would say that uh, one of the rarer things that I'm carrying that a man of your quite fine stature may appreciate. Hmm uses to himself large bets are so exciting don't you think and his wife like puts a My hand on his shoulder man. and leans in you can hear her maybe hear her give me a perception check Ooh, perception's not my best but i hear you hear her whisper to him sweetie not again really please and he brushes her away quickly Right. Whole shipment of cinnamon, hmm? Whole crate's worth. Mm, I'd say it's probably worth around uh, 50 gold. He muses to himself. Ah, oh, well then. And he sweeps his gold off the table. And what would you like then in exchange? For trading goods for goods? I'm a purveyor of horses. I have some of the finest stallions and mares around. Crate of uh, cinnamon for a, a fine riding horse? Well, that does seem like a fine deal. I'm afraid it's, it's no coincidence that I find myself sat across from you today, Lord. Uh, Roan, is it? Yes, how did you know? Well, you see, uh, I sort of lean across and like point out the window to Archie standing outside. See that? You see this chap outside? I don't suppose you recognize him. It may have been a few years since you saw him last. I don't think I know that ruffian. I think he's just one of the uh, many poor folk that uh, you claim ownership over. I believe that I've been paying your fine self for his services for a long time now. It's frustrating, you to say the least. Uh, like in my In my business, the... Uh, cash flow can be of an issue, and I'd rather, um, if I could purchase the man's services outright, this would be uh, far preferable for me than to uh, having to pay this, this stipend to yourself. He looks over, uh, over and over again at Archie, and the wife turns and looks at Archie too. And it takes a moment, he's like, That's the young man who broke into our house and threatened me. He oh. did, yes. He came at me with a two-handed sword, the idiot, in a building, a blade that long? I'm no. Martha. I had no idea. Uh, the man is uh, a bit rough around the edges, but uh, he's always been well respectful. Perhaps his encounter with you taught him a lesson. Hmm, good, good. Dirty boy. What do you say, then? Um, crates of cinnamon for this man's servitude? Well, I believe he brings me in quite a bit more than 50 gold a year. Well, not a year, but the long-term investment, this boy. Worth a little bit more than a crate of silver. And if uh, you're already uh, paying me for him, then... I understand, but, um, um, you know, a man of your uh, knowledge and acumen understands that uh, 
money today is worth more than money in the future. If you have cash today, you could uh, invest it. But I, I, I take your point. He is a, he's a fine gentleman and uh, perhaps worth more than a single crate of cinnamon. Let me check my ledger and I will like, uh, I reach into my bag and pull out like some bit of paper. Like I, I've got some rudimentary literacy, so I probably like practice writing. I don't show him what it is, but I look down the sheets of paper and say, mm, yeah, yeah, so, so cinnamon, uh, donkeys. Uh, ah, uh, how about this? I also have some, uh, some nutmeg. Perhaps would go well with the cinnamon, make a nice tea, uh, a crate of nutmeg. A crate of cinnamon, perhaps. This I'll take the crate of to... nutmeg and a crate of cinnamon. That sounds splendid. Nutmeg is such a fine and rare spice. Indeed, it is. Mm. Fantastic in a bechamel sauce. I don't know if your uh, your wife is much of a cook. Excuse me. We can afford to keep a cook of our own. How dare you've insulted her once? Well, so... You insult her again. I will see to it that every horse you buy kicks you in the face. Well, that is a threat. I, I apologize. I apologize, Martin. Hmm. It's uh, it's in bad taste. It's all this time at sea with the sailors. You understand? Deal out the cards, young man. Yes, yes. And I. This is my big moment. Okay. My black coffee. It's sat there, right? I get the cards, and I deal them slowly over the coffee, and I look at the reflection of the cards in the coffee as I deal them, so I know what his hand is. Sneaky son of a bitch. Right, so you're going to know which hand is best. Yeah, I'm going to know. I mean, if it's traditional poker, I know not to bet if he's got a big hand. I mean... I assume we're not playing over a single hand here. This is going to be. But that would be a ridiculous thing. It's going to be. Uh, yeah. I guess he'll pull out some small coinage, and you'll play to whoever wins out the coins of the other person. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, he'll so pull we out use coppers some of his gold and just to like. Bet. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He'll just put coppers okay. on the table. Each person gets thirty, and whoever ends up winning the whole thing ends up uh, winning the the whole thing. I suppose. Perfect. Yeah. So I um, I use my. I also have my fake cards. If I need to palm a, like a, a different card into my hand to really win, but I'm did, hoping that did I you get two over sets of time. cards or something. What do you mean you have a your set of fake? Oh cards? well, I bought one deck of cards. I assumed that he had a deck in here. The point ah. was that I was going to have the same deck that he had. Ah, uh -huh. I believe it was unfortunately the other person who had brought the deck of cards. Oh no. Uh, or un unfortunate. Okay, well I have to rely on my coffee and my considerable gambling ability in order to right. best this ruffian. Well, um... Why don't you give me a charisma check for how coolly you play this whole thing off? And you've rolled a two and a one on your last two charisma I checks. So hopefully this is going So forward. don't fuck this one up. This one matters. I mean, it's for him, right? Like, if this goes poorly, he's going to end up in a ditch in the side of the road with Archie's fist in his face. So you, for his sake, I hope I pass the charisma check here. Woo. Okay, 29. All right, total pass, cool. So you play it off no problem that you've got like, that you're playing a regular game of poker, that there's nothing untoward happening. You can see the reflection of the cards in the coffee cup. You know how the hand, the game plays out. Um, and you can use the advanced knowledge that you have to push him into a corner and eventually take him for all that he's worth. It goes Perfect. rather smoothly. Actually, um, and at the end of it, he, he's there holding his head in his hands. He looks out the window and goes, I suppose he's yours now. And he like gets up and snaps his fingers to the door. And when a servant comes over and uh, looks like a butler of some sorts, and he says, get the, I need you to go to the house and bring back the paperwork for uh that boy that broke into that... What was his name? He looks at John. Archie. Archie's paperwork. Bring it over here for the gentleman. And uh, the servant runs off. He'll be back in half an hour. The Roan family has moved to Redport, which is not the capital of Wake County, but it is, like, the financial capital of Wake County. Yeah. Once and... the uh, the deal is done, I turn on the charm on his wife. You know, I make sure... Not, I'm not trying to flirt with her. I just... I try and make up for previous grievances by uh one more charisma check nick really being kind to this one. <laughs> easy uh, 32 right you can make things up 
Half an hour later, a servant comes by with some official paperwork that talks about the indentured servitude. And here's the person that's been contracted as the in-between between the, the lord and the ship's captain and blah, blah, blah. Um, and the process would be pretty straightforward. You go to the in-between who works out of your red port. You show them the contract. You say that you're supposed to get the money and that you wish to withdraw the contract. And then you would go with that guy to the ship's captain and say that you are now the owner of his contract. Um, and then from there, it's, yeah. you know, do you want to decide to well, tear I, it up or, I, or what? You know, I, uh, let's just cut back a little bit. I, I sort of make my goodbyes to Lord Roan here, uh, stand up, shake his hand, you know, kiss his wife on the hand. And it's a pleasure playing with you, Lord Roan. I, I shall be in town for a few more days if you wish a chance to uh, Piss off. get your hands on that cinnamon. He says, ah, dropping well. his noble accent and returning to his original, like, room because they were you know they were just merchants who sold horses and before that he was actually just like a not that big of a person his original yeah. accent which he's worked very hard for years to overcome comes out with a piss off get out of here very well sir there's no need to speak to me in such a manner i smirk to myself as i walk out of the uh walk out of the tavern i'll uh no i was gonna slip the bouncer into the coin but i won't i just Pat him on the back and say, thanks for that, bud. And I uh, walk up to Archie and from my pocket produce the, the piece of paper. And I think, I say, Archie, looks like you belong to me now. I laugh as I, uh, I, hand, him the, I hand him the piece of paper. Archie will not laugh. <laughs> Archie will simply look at the paper and he will look at Art and he will look at John and he'll look at the paper. And he'll kind of smile a little bit, but then his face gets a little bit more serious. And he says, we had a deal, John. We you did. left my eyesight. Oh, <laughs> I start to look, I start to look worried. I, I, hey, Archie, it was all part of the plan. I didn't, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't hit me for that, would you? Oh, okay, wait, look, just, <laughs> have, you, just, have you guys just, ever... Have you guys ever seen those Russian slap competitions on YouTube? Yeah, <laughs> holy shit. Can I make an attack roll on John to slap him like that? You give wanna me, you slap hit, John in the face? You, uh, oh yeah. I'll give, you, yep. I'll give you one hit, one hit. I brace myself. Uh, that is gonna be your full-fledged <laughs> attack, uh, attack at this point. So just go to your combat tab and roll that punch, roll the hit. We can say it's open hand just... instead of closed. Um. I'm looking to find it. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, just roll d20 plus 5, which is an amazing attack roll for first level, by the way. S slash R space d20 plus 5. Oh, that's enough. That is. You whap him across the face. Ah! God, to be damned, Archie. Fuck! And I'll I knew you of... could fight. I'll, ex I'll like, extend my hand towards him to like help him up a little bit. My God! All right, I take your hand and like pull myself to my feet and say, "Um, you know, uh, before you rip that thing up, we should take it to the the town hall and get this thing authenticated, so no one comes back looking for us." Come on, I know, I know where it is. He'll look John in the eye and I'll say, "This is the first time anyone's ever done anything like this for me. I appreciate it, Captain." <laughs> then we gotta find a ship first, Archie, but I appreciate that. It's uh, always been a lifelong goal of mine to be a captain. You know, I always consider myself a captain deep down, you know, in my heart. I'm definitely... I've got the soul of a captain, if they've just I just haven't found the boat yet. But um, you're welcome, buddy, you know. Getting one over on the nobles in there makes me feel good, you know. Rubs me up the wrong way seeing them lording it over people. The idea that they can own someone, pff, that's for the birds, not for me. Don't worry about it. I um, I put like an arm around him, and like we walk through the street together to the to the town hall, where I'll rip, like fasten my jacket up again and sort of like push my hair back, you know, and um, <coughs> put on the noble voice once more and head in there and say, hey, "Excuse me, I have some paperwork I wish processed." Mm -hmm. 
It is. You guys um, spend the rest of the day in shitty bureaucracy. You go from like one counter to another, as each person like seemingly has the right thing you need, only to find out at the last moment that you need form DD seventy five slash C in order to properly process this paperwork, and you end up spending the entirety of your leave dealing with the ridiculous bureaucratic system, which includes paying out another like twenty silver uh, just to like pay the right fees for this and to like maybe grease a wheel over here so that you can get this paperwork done today instead of tomorrow um it is a nightmare to do it through the regular legal method but at the end of the day that's all said and done the paperwork gets tra uh, passed around from you guys to the middlemen all the way back to your captain who you will eventually arrive at and have to break the news to him that um well, before we get there, as we're walking, we finally get the paperwork done and we're walking back and I'll say to Archie, well, you know, we didn't get any coins off him, so maybe we're not as free as we'd like to be, but what do you want to do? You want to go back, do one more journey, earn some coin, maybe do something else, see how things go, or you want to stay in Redport for a bit? I'm sure we can find a way to make some coin. Archie, uh, after this long day, having punched multiple walls during this uh, form-filling process, because if there's one thing that he hates, then that's filling out paperwork. <laughs> um, Archie will simply say, John, I want to be out on the sea as fast as possible. Do you, do, do you see how I'm, I'm still not walking straight here on land? I need I to get wait. it. I get Let's it. Get out Look there. Why don't we, we can head back with the captain for one more, one more run. Wouldn't kill us, right? See how it feels like a free man. Uh, make a bit more goals. We've got time. With this time on the sea, we can talk about what we want to do. I'm up for it. And for the first time, like the realization comes over Archie that he'll be working and he'll be doing this job that he's really good at. And this time he'll be like making money for his own. And mm -hmm. like a little smile comes across his face. And I'll good. simply say nothing to John and start walking towards the ship. Um, as he walks towards the ship, then I've still got the paperwork. Uh, I guess it's up to me to tell the captain since... So I, I run to catch up with Archie and um, get onto the ship and sort of like gingerly look around for the for the captain. Don't know if I see him anywhere. I shout to uh, one of the sailors who I know the name of, you know, like um, mm -hmm. Dave. Dave, you seen the captain? He points a thumb downstairs. Our captain's downstairs. Got some company in the room. Doesn't want to be disturbed. Company, hey. Okay. <clears throat> That's all right. He only waits up here. How's your day been, Dave? You enjoyed the shore? Shore leave? Got stuck on watch. Oh, that's mighty unfortunate. You at least help yourself to a little rum? Not on watch. Absolutely not. But I was you know what we do with the drunken Dave. sailor? <laughs> I do, yes. <laughs> I'd rather not hear about it again until you guys know how to sink. Let me tell you, in song. No, no. One, two, three. <laughs> no. Okay. What should we do with the drunk? Okay. <laughs> I sing it with him for a bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, Eventually, the lady arrives and heads out, and the captain comes back onto deck, sees you sort of waiting around with John. Captain! Captain! Can we have a word? That's... Five words right there. One more. Look at him. Confused. Um... I can't limit myself like that, Captain. I'm sorry. You know me. I like to talk. I'm sorry. You gotta forgive me. <laughs> I thought it might work. Had to try it. No, no. It takes more than that to shut me up. You wanna... You want to try slapping me? Look at this. Archie slapped me around the face before. Knocked me clean off my feet. Captain tries it. Oh, shit. Whaps you in the <laughs> face. Wait, no, hang on. I've got 13 decks. I mean, I've got 17 decks. I dodge. Oh. Okay. <laughs> nice one, Captain. I laugh it off like he didn't just try and fucking knock my face off. Um, you know, Captain, while we were out there, I, uh... I did a little favor for our Archie over here. I, you know, I heard about his plight, but he was in indentured servitude. A lot in life, but we all gotta deal the hand, or play the hand we've been dealt. 
Sure, sure. Well, I got some good news for you, Captain. And I, uh, I sort of take out my, my, my pocket and hand him the piece of paper and say, um, I found the guy that owns it. I, I, I bought him off him. The man, he's, oh, he's a free man now. So you don't need to pay them anymore. You can pay the wages directly to him. It's been signed and everything. Look, I got all the forms, D77, whatever the fuck. He, like, looks at these forms. And you can see the, like, fatigue come over his face. Now I gotta deal with bureaucracy. And he waves you down into his quarters and pulls out the papers and pulls out his papers and matches signatures and does the whole process and looks you in the eye and has you come with him over to the harbor master to like have an official double check this paperwork and make sure he's not being swindled yeah. very quickly. He's a smart captain, you know, you always double check paperwork and you always have someone more official than you take a look at it just in case there's some sort of something skeezy going on. And he's only known you for the one voyage, so like, hmm. Yeah. Um, but it all is on the up and up, and at the end of it, he hands the paperwork back to you and goes, Great, Archie belongs to you now, so I suppose I will pay you his wages instead of uh, anyone else. Great. No, no, no. He's No, no, no. He doesn't belong to me. And I, uh, sorry, Captain, wait, I'm going to get him. I, I run up the deck quickly and call, Archie, Archie, get down here. I'll Captain wants to be you. Um, I stand up straight in front of the captain and nudge Archie, make sure he's doing the same. He already is standing up straight, he always does. I, uh, I hand him the piece of paper and say, um, well, Archie, this paper says that I own you. You've got my blessing if you want to tear it up. They thought we'd wait Archie till we saw will... the captain. Archie will tear it up. The papers are shredded. Taken by the wind, falling into the sea, and being washed away. Archie will Say. follow them with his, um, with his eyes for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Say, Captain, you find out what's going on in Shirebrook yet? No one seems to know. Fuck all's been done. I say we head northward this time. Goes against the current, but hey. There's some uh, good places to drop stuff off in. Heat stroke and weather light. Maybe eventually we can make our way to Yatel. Great trading port there. You know, um, we spent all day in the town hall getting this stuff sorted out. I know it's a, I know it's a bit of an ass, Captain, but we couldn't have another day shore leave, could we? I could really do with a drink. Do you have you know, all like day? A real drink. I told you, I was busy. I was. Ah, <sighs> never mind. Captain blows you off. Um, and I think that will end this segment. We're going to take a really short break. And when we come back, we will do one last chapter with our two heroes before we end for the day. So we'll be right back on the other side of our break. Bye-bye. Everybody and welcome back to Tides of Death. 
we're going to pick up with our crew a little bit later. Um, this is going to be maybe two years later. So maybe a year before the campaign actually starts or six months before the campaign starts, something like that. Our party has... Maybe more like a year, Neil. I've got a lot to do in that year okay. in terms of... A year before a the campaign starts. Our party has sailed around for a little while. And for the first time, Archie has coin in his pocket. Up until now, whenever you've gone out drinking with people, it's always been other folks paying for you because you literally have had no money to your name. You've been surviving on whatever food and drink the ship provides, plus the kindness of your fellow sailors and what you can gamble here and there. Um, but after a little time of making money, you have coins. How does this strike, Archie? Real cash in your pocket that you own legitimately and no one can say otherwise. He is probably more overwhelmed than he expected. Like he's normally not a very emotional fella, but um, it kind of brings up back memories of what um, Amber promised him the very first time he was wronged. And it's almost a representation of um, John's loyalty and John's word to him. Um, it's pretty important, and I think he feels like he'd like to hold on to this. Um, like, he's always thought about, like, m back then, all he wanted was a warm place to sleep and, and maybe some food, but he's he's kind of found his home on the ships now, and to him, I think this money is more like a, a representation of not only his freedom, but also his um, loyalty to John. Mm -hmm. I also think, you know, everyone's used to okay. buying you drinks that you might just get away with, like, not buying around at the bar, right? Everyone's just used to buying them for you, so you're saving your money. Yes. Alright. Um, there was a moment where it was possible that Greg, not Greg, John could have just owned your contract and that would have been that. Uh, yeah. Did how would that have been like it would you have been comfortable with john as your the the owner of your contract i think so maybe in in the moment even more so because it's just what archie is used to is serving and 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 just be, being not his own man right so which is probably why he's a little bit overwhelmed with it and which is probably why he will tend to stick with John a little bit further, even though he's not technically obliged, to, like where he's, he technically doesn't have to. Um, I think he uh, he still feels some sort of like obligation towards John in that way, and he can't really, despite just ripping up a piece of paper, you know, he still really can't shake that feeling that, well, he used to serve um, uh, Lord Rowan, and then he served as captain, and well, now he serves John, right? So I think, you know, from John's point of view, um, I mean, he went out of his way to help Archie here. You know, he wasn't doing it for his own benefit, but, you know, a friend for life earned through an act like that is probably worth more than an indentured servant anyway. You know, is a servant really going to, you know, throw himself in front of a sword to save you if he didn't have to? Probably not. A good friend might, though. Um, so maybe we're, you know, we're on shore leave, right? Mm -hmm. We're sat at, we're sat at a table. The rest of the the rest of the sailors are off, maybe in the brothel or doing something else. You know, it's maybe just the two of us. Maybe Carl's there. I don't know if Carl's still around, but you know, I always like Carl. And um, I'm looking down at my purse. You know, it's filled with silver. We've we've had a really good haul. And I uh, I look out the window to the ship bobbing in the sea, and I say. You know, Archie, must feel good to have some coin in your hand, right? Not used to it, John. But it does feel nice. Let me tell you, you know what these coins represent? They don't represent the crown or anything like that. They don't even really represent wealth, you know, real wealth. There's more to it than just coin. I'll tell you what this represents for us, for me and you, for me and you, Archie, what this represents, it's freedom. We can do whatever we want. We got enough money here. We don't have to listen to anyone's orders, you know? We could we could live in this tavern for probably six months if we wanted to. We could maybe even, you know, go and get a little boat of our own. It wouldn't be a ship, but uh, 
we could find something to do. I just, the captain, the crew, I like to move on. Archie, I'm bored of them. You, me and you, we're friends. The rest of them, they just don't, they just don't do it for me like they used to. And I don't know, I don't want to tell you what to think, but do not feel weird being around these same people. I, I see them sometimes, the way they look at you, the way they talk to you. They don't really treat you like the free man that you are. Archie's going to look John in the eye and he's going to say, John, you know, I just want to be out there on the seas. Let's get a boat together, but whatever vessel we get, let's make sure the deck is small enough that I can be on mop duty on my own. <laughs> yeah, it's probably for the best. You know, um, this place where we are here, Weatherlight, you know much about this area? Uh, we've been here a couple times. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm... but um, I feel like Archie's more the kind of person who like followed along with the others and didn't didn't really see much sense in like getting to know like all the like little corners and everything. Just like the things that you need to know as a sailor as you're doing your work here. Um, but that being said, those that information is probably enough. So yeah, I think I I think I know my way around here. Yeah, that island's the north of here, Gate Isle. You know it. You know, there's uh, this free man around there, Archie. Sailors that run ships, not working for any one captain. They're not slaves, they're not paid a wage. They're all in it together, you know, a crew. Whatever they make, they split between themselves. Real freedom, that's real freedom, Archie, you know? We could, maybe we could get our own boat. I don't know how much boats go for these days, or yeah, maybe we could find some work with one of these crews for a while, make some more gold, start off on our own. But we'd be we'd be free, you know. We choose what to do. Be up to us to say whether we're going to Solemn or we're going back to the Dardens or Drakus or wherever the fuck. We'd have a say. We wouldn't have to be listening to the captain telling us what to do all the time. What do you uh? What do you say? We we've worked with the captain long enough. I, I could do it if you want. I'd go and talk to him and just tell him that we're we're going our own way. I'm sure. I'm sure he'd take it all right. But you will simply say, "Aye, aye, captain." That's the spirit, buddy. I'm going to tell him right now. I stand up, put two hands on his shoulders like he's standing in front of him. Say, you bloody beautiful bastard. And I turn around and uh, I like confidently like walk out of the tavern, head back to the docks. I mean, the, the tavern's just on the dock anyway, so it's like a, a quick, quick jaunt. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I still see the captain on the deck or something like that, or talking to the harbour master or, or something. Yeah. I go up to him and say, uh, listen, Cap, you got a few minutes? Aye, uh, what is it, lad? Well, you know, these these last few hauls we've done, you know, we've made some coin. Me and Archie, we like it here, you know, and, you know, he's had a tough time of it in his life, and I, I think the guy needs some time off. And me, you know, I like to move around, so no hard feelings, Captain, but uh, I think this is where we part ways. Hopefully we do so on good terms. Ah. Uh... I needed Archie for one more thing. I I do need him for one more thing. If you guys are going to be taken off, he's what a strong that? lad, the strongest Plenty one we've got around here on this boat. Plenty of strong lads on the crew, Captain. Surely. He looks at you. We got a bit of a problem. We you see. Yes, we get Archie. Meet me down in the brig, uh, down in the hold. You gonna tell us what? Ugh, fine, fine. In the hold, oh, I'll be there in a minute. I fucking walk back to the tavern, crestfallen, shoulders slumped. I walk in the door. I find no. I stop outside the door. I fix my posture. I try and put a smile back on my face, and I, I walk in. And uh, I say, uh, "All right, Archie." I told him, but he said he needs us for one more thing. Wants us to go on the boat. Are you up for it? Mm. Archie's a little bit torn now because now he's confronted with um, two different authority figures, two different people that he's loyal to. Um, asking two kind of different things from him. Mm -hmm. um, Archie's not one down to, to turn a job. Um, he's learned to never say no to, to a task. So... I'll just say to John, what does he need? Sure, but I figure that he seems to think you're the only one who can do it. 
Why don't we we'll go down there, see what's up, maybe ask him for a few more coins. We're free men now, you know. Our business ended when we stepped off the ship in port. We might be able to get a few more silver out of him. That ship's going to be a mess without me. I might as well do one last job to make sure that they're going to be okay. You know what, Archie? You're too good for this world. Let's go. You guys get down to the hold of the ship, and there's the captain, the first mate, and this other person who you don't know, who you don't recognize, who is sort of tied up um, and has a bit of a bloody nose. What's this about, Captain? We caught this here brigand trying to sneak aboard the ship. I won't say a word. That's why I need Archie here, big strong man that he is, to knock this guy around a little bit, make him talk for me. You can get him to talk, Archie. I'll pay you an extra couple of silver. You and John here can fuck off and do whatever it is you guys want to do in your life. I don't really care. But the one thing I can't abide upon my ship is a rat. And anyone who sneaks aboard without my permission... Well, Archie, what can you do to make this guy talk? Archie will look at the captain and say, you know I can do things to make him talk. That's what I was hoping for. Captain comfortably leans back against one of the posts, low decks, motions casually for you to make this person think something. Before Archie moves, he will send over a look to John to kind of gauge how he feels about the situation. I mean, yeah. my sort of shrug and give you a maybe a few silvers, a few silver. So Archie will nod. He'll walk over. I assume this person's kind of sitting on the floor, tied up, right? Mm-hmm. Archie will kind of squat down in front of him. Um. Tilt his head a little bit to the side. Um, and just start by kind of just presenting this person that there's currently a very a large bodied individual in front of him, a very strong individual that is capable of um, inflicting all sorts of damage. And we'll just kind of look at him and um, uh, we'll just ask, you got something to tell us? guy just looks at you and says, fuck you. Um, Archie will grab his thumb and break it. Do I roll an attack roll for that? No, he's That's tied it. up. You don't need to do oh, any of that nonsense. True. He's just at your mercy. I so see. you easily break his thumb. Uh, is this the first time that you've had to assist this and one of your captains in interrogation no he's done it a couple times john is this the first time you've seen someone be um forced into speaking i don't think so i mean john wouldn't do it himself but it's not the first time maybe it's the first time he's seen it not the first time he's heard of it happening though certainly yeah yeah okay yeah uh, the guy cries with a little bit of pain as you, you break his thumb. The guy wins as he breaks the thumb. Uh, but he still refuses to speak. Um, I'll have broken his left thumb here, but I will still ask. You left-handed or right-handed? Uh, the guy struggles with his with his bonds and says, right now I'm not handed at all. Um, I think Archie will give him one of the, one of the Russian slaps. Mm -hmm. Bat him around the face. Uh, he spits out a Wins little again. blood. <sighs> First on not... the right side and then on the left side, right or left. You know, I think I saw your mother. Working down at the, uh, Drowned Daughters, he says, naming one of the nearby brothels. Um, okay. Does Archie have any, uh, sharp ob objects on him? I don't think he 
does Probably all my character not shit, right? On but he, you, he, 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 but he, within the yeah. hold of this ship, there are plenty of sharp objects to be found. There's knives, staggers, playing pins, if you need something bludgeoning, needles for fixing things, anything you need. Um. Yeah, I think one of those needles will do. He'll grab one of those and um, just get very up and close with this person's eye with that needle. Just very, very close. I think... And, um, Go ahead. and he'll just say, do you want to repeat that? This Word is where I would like you to make me a torturing proficiency check. It's one of the skills that Archie has that we didn't really get a chance to explore yet. So let's see what it's like. Um, roll me from your character sheet a torturing check. Uh, it'll just be that purple button next to. Oh, no, you rolled it. And he got you a 20. He got a, a 20. Natural 20. Sweet Jesus, an apple pie. Yeah. You make this guy sing like a songbird. Uh, very quickly, the guy tells you that he. He was hired to hop on this boat. He's supposed to be looking for this thing the captain has, this bag that's supposedly got something magical in it, and he spills all the details. He, he names the, his employers. He doesn't know their name, but like he knows where they hang out. He names the last time that he saw them. He names how much money he was getting for this. He spills the beans on all the things. And when it's done, and the man is poked and broken and beaten because he doesn't spill it all right away. It takes a little time. Uh, the captain of your ship pats you on the back, puts four gold pieces in your hand, Archie, uh, taps his nose and says, oh, keep this one quiet. John, you didn't see a thing. Didn't see a thing. Good, good. Well, boys, Enjoy yourselves on wherever you go. We'll stick around and dock for a day or two, find some replacements, although I don't think it'll be that hard to replace you, John. We'll just need to go to the <laughs> local tavern and find the loudest mouth there. It's been a pleasure, Captain. I offer a hunt. Pleasure's all yours. Archie, you'll be sorely missed. Um, Archie will simply salute. Yeah. And off the two of you guys can go, leaving in... Good this town while the rest of Eridon falls to pieces around you guys uh, commerce has dropped quite a bit half of Eridon lies in shambles what remains of it is broken apart into fragments only Wake County that Redport Clydesdale Rockway of Hillsborough area is really intact um, and you guys can set off on a new life with each other for wealth glory fame fortune whatever it is that you want Awesome. All right. This was that great. We'll wrap us up for our sessions before our first session. Next week, we will be playing our very first session, a full fledged session of Tides of Death. We'll get the whole party together and we'll see what happens. Oh, wait. This was, this was so much fun. Good job, guys. It was Especially wonderful. to Neil, but also. For yeah. Your first time, yeah. Really good job. Well done. Thank you. Well done, everyone. Um, I think there are no questions to be had. So, if you guys want to talk about this stuff, there are various subreddits. I'm sure everyone's got one, or half the people have one, or at the very least, you can head over to mine and chat about it there, or in the various discords and twitters and whatnot. Um, and we'll all be back next week for episode one of Tides of Death. We'll see you guys then. Good night, everybody. See you later, guys. Night.